When we talk about encryption, we frequently talk about two things. We talk about a message plain text, and we also talk about a message ciphertext. The plain text of the message is the message itself. It's typically a secret that I don't want to reveal to other people on the internet. The ciphertext is the message after it's been encrypted in whatever, using whatever sort of encryption protocol that we're going to use. So let me show you an example. I'm going to use a tool called um, GPG, uh, which is part of a suite of privacy tools that you can use online. And you can, you know, for example, if you want to send somebody on the internet a secret message, let's say you have some really interesting or very sensitive, important data that you want to send, and you only want that person to be able to read it, uh, GPG provides a way to do it. This was something that was used by uh, journalists that were working with Edward Snowden. It's used by people all over the world when they have something very, very important, but also very sensitive that they want to say. Keep in mind that email by default is not secret on the server. So even if your email is encrypted in transit all the way to Gmail or all the way to whatever email provider you use, the email is stored on the server in a way that the provider can read it. And that means that if the provider was served a subpoena by the US government or by some other government, that government would also be able to read it. If you encrypt it properly, however, um, you can make it a lot more difficult for them, if not impossible. So let's uh, use an example here. So before I started this example, I used GPG to import the public key. We're going to use asymmetric or public key encryption here. So I've imported the public key of a particular person that I want to send a message to. I just This is just a random person online. I guess they used to work at Gawker.com. I'm not sure Gawker.com even really exists anymore. Um, so I already have their key. And if I do GPG, I think it's list keys, it'll show me the keys that it has. So this is a key that it already imported for me. This is my public key. And then it also has a public key here for someone named Adrian Chen. And Adrian Chen is identified by these email addresses here. And if I was really worried about using this key or was really wanted to make sure that, I was, uh, that the message was encrypted in a way that only Adrian Chen could decrypt, I would probably want to have some sort of out of band way of exchanging keys with Adrian. So I make sure that this key is actually his and not a key that someone else has uploaded that is trying to impersonate him. Okay, so um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use GPG. And what I'm, I'm telling GPG to do is I'm telling it to encrypt a message and to encrypt it for this particular recipient. So this is Adrian at Gawker.com. So it's going to use this particular key that it's loaded to perform the encryption. So when I'm finished, what I'm going to have is I'm going to have my ciphertext. What I'm going to type right now into the terminal is the plain text. And we can see how they're different. So this command allows me to enter a plain text at the terminal. Um, so here I'm going to do, I'm going to say, let's add some plain text to my message. Um, and here is more text. This is a secret message with secret contents. So this is my message. This is the plain text message. This is the message that I want this particular person to receive. When I'm finished, I close the program. And what it prints out here is the ciphertext. So this is, so to review, this part up here um, is the plain text. And of course, you can read this. This is the message that I want to send to somebody else. I want them to be able to read it. Down here is the PGP message or the ciphertext. So this is the message after it's been encrypted using Adrian's key. And you can see that this message makes sense. Um, this message is completely unintelligible. So if somebody on the internet saw this, they wouldn't know that the plain text message was as follows. And if I'm using this encryption protocol properly, the only person in the world who can take this message and recover the original plain text message is either Adrian Chen or at least somebody who has Adrian Chen's key. So I've encrypted this message. I've created a ciphertext that, again, assuming that I'm using the encryption tools properly, can only be decrypted by one person on Earth. And that's frequently the goal, is to take a, a message that I want to keep secret and use this computational tool to produce this ciphertext, which again, I mean, just looks like gibberish. But it's not just gibberish, it's gibberish that even lots of powerful computers, if they worked on this for a long, long, long time, would not be able to take this message and recover the original plain text. So plain text is the message you want to send. Ciphertext is the message produced by whatever encryption protocol you're using. Uh, the goal is that 
only a small number of people that have some sort of secret information can take the ciphertext and recover the plain text message.